just got it. Everlast MIG 140. It is the inverter machine. It's not like a transformer machine, so it's supposed to have a heavier duty cycle. I think it said 35% at 90 amps or something like that. Compared to all the other ones that are like 20 at 110 amps or something like that. Not 100% sure. I was playing with it a little bit here. Seems to be working pretty good. I just got my little tank filled back up or exchanged. I like using those ones for, you know, if I'm going to somebody else's house to do some fabricating or welding or something like that. Nice just to throw that in there compared to one of the big ones. But seems to be working pretty good. I like the gun on it. Pretty good quality. It comes with an actual nice um, flow meter instead of just like a regular gauge. Let's show you what the inside looks like here. Got the big roll in it. I don't know what size, 10 inch or whatever you can put in there. 10 pound roll. Good quality. It's got a nice steel you know, wire mechanism. The only complaint I didn't I had about it was it didn't come with wire, which I thought was weird. I've never bought a welder that didn't come with wire. But I've only bought a few welders before. And the other thing is the short ground clamp. I'm not even kidding you, that thing is maybe like four feet long. I'm gonna be doing something different with that, replacing it. I tried it out a little bit here on some luminized exhaust. Seems to be working pretty good. I think that was when I really got it dialed in. Wasn't too hot, wasn't too cold. And all I'm going to do, I got that set up a little bit better for the heavier pipe. Um, and I'm going to weld that back together. I'm sure I have a really good thing around that I didn't feel like chopping up. I've never tried to weld this camera, so I'm not sure how it's going to do, and I hope I don't fucking wreck it with it being this close. Let's give it a shot here. Love some shit back on. I noticed everybody liked my shop tour video quite a bit. That has, that has the most views right now. I haven't been YouTube in very long, but you know, leave me in the comments what you like to see. Shop stuff, welding stuff, fabricating stuff, car stuff, whatever. I like doing the tool review kind of thing. I like buying tools. I'm a big tool guy. Let's see how she does. Pretty good. Got plenty of penetration on it. Probably could have just a little bit, but I'm gonna do a double pass on it right now. Turn the heat up a little bit. Not a lot. there I got a little off track I don't have the best welding chair here I kind of started to fall in the middle of it but welding pretty good can't complain too awful much on it for 
400 bucks. Christmas card and ugh. figured I might as well get one. It was between this and the Lincoln. Um, I wanted to get the 180. I had the 180 before. And for the price difference, I should have got the 180 in the first place. I sold it because I was getting ready to buy a bigger welder and then got into some trouble thanks to the old Monte Carlo over there during automotion, which is a big thing to have going on in the Dells. You know, do a burnout for somebody on the road, main road, and of course, you know, I've done it every year, thousands of times, and this year, of course, there had to have been a cop, one car behind me, and he fucking got me, and yeah, they jack up the tickets, so my display of power ticket was like $600, so, there went my Wilder money, and I sold the one I had, and I really bought another one, I started working my new job, didn't have a whole lot of time, and I had my TIG Wilder, so I did any little job I really needed to do. Um, let me bump these amps down again, and one thing I do notice, it likes a little bit more wire speed, which I read in the reviews, so ain't no big deal, I guess. Just turn it up a little bit if you guys decide to get it. This is kind of unclean metal, too, so it's probably not the best test. one in the world, um, but it's Turbonetics, so it's actually like a $800 turbo new, which is pretty good, um, it'll get me going anyway, it's gonna, you know, push enough PSI for what I'm trying to do, everybody's always oh, got a baby turbo, you got a baby turbo, but I don't think it's gonna matter that much, you know, starting out, should still be able to push well over 600 horse, um, yeah, I'm going to hopefully get this engine in here sooner or later, like I've been talking about, but I work on other people's shit now, lately. And my buddy's car over here, trying out the new lift, helping him change a wastegate. I got a guy's van who I'm going to be bringing over to change CV axles in. I don't know if that'll fit in here with the lift, really, but... Yeah, hopefully soon we'll get something going here. I really, really, really want to start fabricating my turbo setup, but... I've been kind of thinking, you know, I could spend a hundred bucks on one of those, uh, uh, like random bend kits, but I just buy a pipe bender from Harbor Freight for like 160 bucks. And then I could bend pipe all the time. That'd be a lot cooler. It's fucking cold out. It's got to be like 10 below here in Wisconsin. I have a shop heater going, but 
don't think you hear me over it in the videos. Um, I think that's all I got for you now. Subscribe, let me know what you want to see. Thanks.